Okay, good day. We are back in the Milk of Gardens. We have three volunteers and it's the last day. We are missing one person, unfortunately, pressure on exams. So we're just going to do a quick roundup summation about what we've been doing for the last couple of weeks, how's the experience been, etc. So first and foremost, introduce yourselves. You are... Alex. I am Becca. Thank you, Fantastic. Which school do you go to? What college? Sutton High School. Sutton High School. Fantastic. Brilliant. Okay. So you came about this project through Kelly. Yeah. Uh, you'd be working about three months, I think you'd be working with me. Yeah. Approximately. I remember. I remember. Yeah. <laughs> um, what have you, how have you found the project? What, 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 first of all, what were your first impressions of the project? What did you think of the project when you first arrived? What did you think? Well, I wasn't sure what was going to like, what was going to happen when we first arrived because it was a bit vague. But no, it was really interesting when we came. It was really nice to like, come here and see the garden in the beginning. Nice, nice. Yeah. And what did you think when you first came out? What did you first think? Because I know you kind of had a different impression of. It was just a lot different to what we're used to. Excellent. Okay. In a good or a bad way, or <laughs> in a good way. Okay. It was nice and different, but. Good. But you wouldn't be, you wouldn't imagine yourself becoming. No, no. <laughs> and Sam, yeah, what did you, what did you think? Um, I thought it was going to be a lot of garden. Okay. Because I was in the British garden. I met new people and so far. Nice, nice. This is the experience. Yeah, a lot yeah. of walking. Yeah, we've done a lot of walking. Yeah. Especially two weeks ago. Ah, <laughs> a 20 minute walk, yeah? Makes them a bit longer. Okay. So you came initially to um, volunteer and help out every Friday, and the first thing you were supposed to do was do some painting. But um, you actually decided to actually um, go and create a vegetable patch in somebody's garden. What what was the thought process? What made you make that decision? I think because not many of us are really artsy, are we? I mean, you are, and Kelly was, and Taylor was at the beginning, but. I suppose so. <laughs> but so like, we were, were you knew. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so we were very arty, so I suppose we didn't want to like mess up the heart and it might not be that interesting. So we were like, I want to do gardening. Well, I did it anyway. Yeah. And then she would just. We thought it would be nice to give back to the community. Yeah. Yes. Initially, we just wanted to collect some apples. Yeah. But then we met Maria. And she's doing that. She's doing apples from her garden. So then we probably could clean up her garden for her because she's. And then we can. Ooh, yeah. Well. She's got a foot as well. Yeah. So, how did you find the experience of working with Maria? What did you. What, what skill? What did you kind of. What happened for you in that process of actually working with Maria? Did anything kind of change your perceptions of people or your, how you felt about people? What happened? Because at first we were quite worried or kind of scared because you know we don't really know her and mm. she's a complete stranger. But then eventually we got really close and there was like we were more willing to talk to new people. Nice. Yeah, so it was the communication skills. I definitely yeah. cool as well. Okay. And was there anything apart from communication that you you kind of developed um, skill wise? Is there anything else that you kind of? Yeah, I think we learned like. As a garden, because I didn't really garden, my dad did. I just like had to build a thing, what's in Kelly Hammer? Because you weren't there the first week when you went. I left you to it. That's right, I was away. We got all the things out and then we did it ourselves. And how does that compare to, for example, like your school where you're very prescriptive in terms of what you have to do? And how we work, where we're quite informal and you're more experiential, where we actually make you do stuff by learning. Or Very relaxed. Like, like, the, you know, there isn't really like a plan, you know what I mean? Like, there is a plan that we were like, we're going to go here, we're going to go here, but it wasn't like, we have to go here, we're going to spend this amount of time here, but this is when we sit down and stuff. So it's just, mm. it was our choice, you know, like, whether we wanted to go th here or there. Like mm. last week, if we wanted to come back here, we'll go to the football place. Yeah. And do you think there's there's do you think there's a place for that within your your lives or your education in terms of actually being able to have 
uh, kind of more autonomy in terms of your choices you make, yeah. in terms of your learning. Yeah. And do you think that's a value? Do you think that? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we get more responsible. Because we choose what we want to do, and then we have to kind of hold on to what might happen and what might go wrong. It's not the wrong choices. <laughs> yeah. We're more responsible for things now. Yeah. Like we find kind of stepping up. Good. Good. And how did you, um, what was the response from Maria? How did you find, what do you think, what are the benefits for her as a recipient of your work <laughs> or your engagement? How did you find her relationship with you? How did, did you think she was happy? Yeah. It was nice to have seen her every week. Yeah. I really friendship with her. Yeah, yeah. Because she wasn't, like, mobile, was she? So she didn't get the company. That, yeah. You know, we do when we go out to school and yeah. places. So it's just nice to like, give her some company while, you know, while she's recovering. Yeah, recovering from Amazing. I think that's it. Would you like to say any last words about um, what would you, for anybody else who wants to get involved in the May Project Gardens volunteering or to support the project, what would what would the words be? What would you suggest to people? What would the words of encouragement or maybe not this? Or what, would, what could be improved or what would you like to see? How could we recruit more people or get more people engaged? With the volunteering. It would be nice to see a lot more people um, from the community like um, coming here mm, and then nice. a lot more people in the community asking for things to be done because right now like you said you're not getting a lot of people asking you to do something it would be nice if you could and that might kind of entice people to go and help people. Good, good. Anything in other items? Um, you could like advertise to schools and stuff. So you get more people our age to come in, so we're a bit more like willing to do whatever, you mm. know, to cook it all the time. Yeah. We could, yeah, let the community know about this project. Like, we could yeah, advertise and we'll get more interactions and engagements with them. Amazing. And just very quickly, I don't know if it's going to finish, but on the other spectrum, so we approached uh, a, a, a group of young people that were very hard to engage. Um, last week we had a totally different response. How would how we kind of talked very briefly about how we might you know um, engage those kind of young people? How would you think? What suggestions do you have for people that are really hard to reach or hard to engage? I think you've got to push it. Okay. Yeah, you got to. If you read someone and you're like, do this, I'm like, no. And then if you keep like not bugging them, but if you keep telling them about it, no, like, yeah, yeah, persistence. Yeah, absolutely. I need to try out. Yeah. yeah, and, and they can see for themselves. Yeah. Just let them not try it out. And see. Amazing. Well, thank you very much. It's been a real pleasure having you for the last three months. Um, it's been really good for me because um, having you here with Wings gives me a focal point as well, so we've been able to do stuff on a continual basis, and it's been really useful, and you've been a pleasure to work with. Thank you so much for all your help, plus one. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>